Hello everyone, welcome to the final video of LTEC 620 Visual Design. In this short video, I want to take a few minutes to recap what we've covered and celebrate all that you've accomplished in six short weeks. We started out the semester situating ourselves at the intersection of visual design and visual literacy. On the design side, we learned that the word design is kind of complex because it can refer to an action, an industry, and or a product. We also emphasize that when we design something, design as an action, it is important to work with intention, to be clear about what we're trying to communicate through design and how various design decisions influence a design's ability to convey that message. From there, we learned about how human perception is biased and can be influenced by the past, the present context, and our future goals. We learned that what we see is the result of bottom-up and top-down processing. And fortunately, as designers, we can leverage empirical research that's revealed specific feature-level contrasts that can make something visual easy to find. For our first design project, we played around with a single design element, the humble black line, to practice designing with intention and communicating for a particular purpose. From there, we learned about various design principles and what constitutes good design. Week by week, we explored some of these principles and we learned about a design process that we could follow to break down designing visual representations into multiple and hopefully fruitful bite-sized chunks. We learned about alignment, proximity, and repetition. We explored the usefulness of various grid systems, and we did a deep dive into the wild worlds of color and typography. Eventually, we applied all that we had learned about visual design to create, from the ground up, our own original business cards and infographics. On the visual literacy side of the equation, we learned that visual literacy is the ability to interpret, use, and create visual media in ways that advance thinking, decision-making, communication, and learning. We learned that humans aren't born knowing how to understand and make sense of visual representations. In fact, this is something we have to learn. And while it might seem rather simplistic at first glance, we learned that there are actually many underlying concepts that are necessary in order for someone to be able to interpret, use, and create visual media in meaningful ways. Relatedly, we learned that as consumers and producers of visual media, we can actually step back and think about the various functions that visual representations play in relation to text. Further still, we learn that if we really want to be prepared to live in today's visual society, we should be able to analyze visual content from multiple perspectives. In conclusion, I hope you feel we met the three learning objectives of the course. Number one, to analyze and evaluate visual representations from different perspectives. Number two, to create visual representations using graphic design elements, principles, and processes. And number three, to analyze and evaluate the role of visual representations and visual literacy in education. In terms of next steps, I want to encourage you to keep on following these three elements of good design. First, continue to learn about design principles. So much has been written and studied about them. So immerse yourself in deepening your understanding of each principle from theoretical and practical perspectives. Second, continue to study the world around you. What looks good? What doesn't? And more importantly, why? When you see something that catches your eye, study it. Really look at it and try to determine why that particular design, quote unquote, works. Of course, you could do the same thing with designs that don't look so good. This harkens back to what Tony Pritchard called an intense way of seeing. Learn to recognize design principles and when they are and aren't being applied. Before long, you'll be seeing everything around you in a whole new light. And finally, continue to apply these design principles to your own work. You would be amazed at how designing with intention and applying a handful of simple principles like alignment and proximity can really make a difference in the quality of your designs. And what's great about these principles is how universal they are. They can apply to everyday flyers, to conference presentations, to website designs, and anything else involving visual components. 
And with that, I will say congratulations on finishing LTech 620. I've been super impressed with your hard work and enthusiasm this semester. It's been a pleasure working with you all. Have a great rest of the summer, and please keep in touch. Mahalo.